the job, man. Welcome back to another video on my channel. And in today's video, I want to give y'all multiple multi-million dollar lessons that I learned from multi-millionaires. Anyways, y'all, hey, I'm currently in a rush. I'm about to get on to a meeting, but I at least want to give y'all some life lessons. So make sure y'all stay tuned. Make sure y'all comment below. Make sure y'all like and do all that YouTube stuff. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Anyways, let's get right into the video. Let's go. Man, thank you for riding with me today, y'all. So I'm about to head to a business conference. For some of y'all that are asking, no, I didn't get my dream car yet. Uh, the only reason why I'm driving right now is because I got a rental from Mercedes-Benz. For some of y'all that don't know, I live in South Africa. Me and my uncle travel a lot. Although I can't afford a G-Wagon, I don't think it's the smartest thing to do, especially that knowing that I travel. But anyways, y'all didn't come here. Talk to me about my financial situation. We came here to talk about some lessons. So lesson number one that I learned from successful people is that success is a mindset. In order for you to be successful, you have to first believe that it is possible for you. Think about, for example, um, your favorite food to eat, right? How did you know that was your favorite food? Because you experienced it for yourself. In order for you to experience success, you have to first try it out. You have to try it first, right? So go to that dealership, see those nice cars, do those things that are gonna allow for your mindset to increase that belief that you can have it. Number two is surround yourself with successful people. One thing that I took away from my uncle is that he surrounds himself with successful people. When I first moved to LA, right? Some of y'all that may know my uncle MJ Harris, probably put his, his uh, YouTube up right here. But one thing that I learned from him is that he had a lot of successful people that he was around. If you are nothing but around people that do not think success and are not successful, you are not going to be successful. You have to surround yourself with successful people. Even if you're not successful yet, right? Surround yourself with that mindset, right? Success is a mindset. Even even if somebody's not successful, you know they're gonna be successful one day because of their mindset. So surround yourself with mindsets that are going to elevate you and not bring you down because you are who you hang out with. Anyways, let's move on to the next lesson. Number three is budget. Budget, budget, budget. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I'm not gonna lie. This is probably the hardest one for me to take in, but I constantly, constantly get drilled in from my mentors to budget. At the end of the day, the goal in life, in order for you to have the financial freedom that you desire and deserve, you first, you first have to make the money, but not only make the money, don't spend all the money, right? The goal is to make as much money while living below your means. That way you have a threshold, right? That's one thing I learned. And not only should you have a threshold, you should also use that excess cash to invest in your business and spend off your investments. That's one thing I learned from my uncle MJ Harris. If you haven't seen that video, when I was about to buy a G-Wagon, these dealerships every other day to see who got inventory <laughs> here. And so when you said you wanted to come here, was it because of this? A little bit. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I did. I did know this was here. I did. How about we test drive it? Okay, let me sit in it. Let me sit in it. Let me sit in it. I'm just tired of manifesting. Oh, I, I see what you're saying. I, I'm just tired because, of manifesting. Just because you have the money doesn't mean you need to buy it. Huh. And that was the dumbest thing I was thinking about. But you know, you're young and you're making a little bit of money. So I thought a G-Wagon would be a good purchase. But he taught me to use my investments, fund the things in my life that I want. Rule number four is to make sure that you work and you work hard and diligently because when you are trying to be successful or when you are on the road to success, you reap what you sow. If you are not reaping anything in this life, you're gonna get nothing in this life. And I'm being honest with y'all, this is something my uncle, I literally, I had a vision. I had a belief in myself that I didn't have the work ethic. When I first started, I didn't have the work ethic. But one thing I learned and I picked up from my uncle, once again, he's like, he's gonna be on this channel a lot. So make sure y'all, hey, 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 he got some sauce, y'all. Go check his channel out. But one thing he has taught me is is that you have to, you have to work because belief in, in law of attraction and thinking positive thoughts only take you so far, that's a good direction, but you have to put in the work. Rule number five is to be an open-minded, good listener. I know a lot of times, you know, you go through hard days, hard times, but you have to seek out that criticism. You have to take that in, but good criticism, but you have to take that in and be a good listener and be open to it. Because at the end of the day, your goal is not to prove a point to nobody. You're not trying to prove a point to nobody. The goal is for success. So if somebody has something that you want, listen to them. I had to learn this the hard way. Make sure you listen to them and you follow every single thing that they tell you to do 
successful because success is inevitable if you are able to follow those that are successful. So listen and be open-minded to ideas. All right, y'all, so I think I'm gonna wrap up this video. I know this is a quick video, but I have to make it to this meeting. I wanted to make sure I gave you all this knowledge, so I had to sit here and park. But at the end of the day, you know, success is a mindset. Success takes time and you have to work super hard, right? So go out there, y'all. I hope this video really helps y'all. Anyways, y'all, make sure y'all comment down below y'all's favorite tip. And uh, I'll see y'all all at the top.